What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about if your controller for your Xbox Series X or S is not connecting. Here is what to do. This is actually a super easy fix. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is to confirm that your controller is paired with your Xbox. To do this, you're gonna turn on your Xbox, you're gonna press and hold the Xbox button on your controller until it turns on. Then you're gonna press the pair button on your console. Within 20 seconds, you're gonna press and hold the pair button on your controller. Then the Xbox button on the controller will flash whenever it is searching for the console. Once connected, it will stay lit. Next, if that doesn't work, try swapping out the batteries. If swapping out the batteries doesn't work, try connecting the controller to the console using a Type-C cable. Now, unfortunately, if the controller doesn't work with a cable, the controller likely will need to be replaced. There's not too much else that you can actually try. If the controller does connect with the cable, but not wirelessly, you will likely need to update the controller software. To do this, you're gonna connect the controller to the console with the cable. Next, you're gonna press the Xbox button to open up the guide. Next, you're going to want to select Profile and Systems, then you're going to select Settings. Under Devices and Connections, you're going to want to click on Accessories, then you're going to select Controller and click on the three dots. Next, if there is an update available, you're going to want to click on Updates. Once update is complete, unplug the cable and try connecting the controller wirelessly to your Xbox. Hopefully after doing all of those steps, your controller is now connecting to your Xbox wirelessly. Otherwise, there's not really much else that you can really do to fix this yourself. It is recommended if you do have a warranty going and replacing your controller. And usually controllers now usually last about one year. And that's when they recommend you replacing them. If you do have a warranty just once a year going and exchanging it for a new controller, that way you always have a fresh controller. But hopefully one of these did work for you. And hopefully your Xbox Series X or S controller is finally working. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.